Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Potato Pie Twenty Five here, and I am. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm too old for this. Sh Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is partly because uh, Pocket Gaming just kind of randomly reappeared on Twitter and YouTube and stuff like that. And then a bunch of other like old Minecraft Pocket Edition content creators and YouTubers also managed to come out of the woodwork as well. So I mean, I, I kind of want to make this video just to in part do my part in reviving community. Especially since it's where I kind of started on YouTube and uh, I... I, I respect it, and I mean, I don't know how many Minecraft videos I'll actually be doing, but still, I think it'll be a good tribute, at least, to where I came from. So, let's just go ahead and get into the video where I talk about what the best Minecraft Pocket Edition, or just Bedrock Edition, I guess is what you call it now, survival game servers. So, my method for testing all the servers was that I played three games on each server. Except for Lifeboat, because I literally couldn't stand playing in that game mode. It's so garbage. Lifeboat, what are you doing? And then I made a list of the pros and cons, in my opinion, for each server. So, first off, <laughs> we have uh, Lifeboat, the original Minecraft Pocket Edition, now Bedrock Edition survival game server, also known as Lifeboat Survival Games. Except, survival games literally does not exist on the server anymore. And now the only sort of survival games thing we have is this 50-player battle royale. Like, like, what even, what even is this? Like, for example, what, what is this PvP? You have stone swords, diamond swords. You have what lassos and poison dart and stuff like that. That's not survival games. That's they're they're trying to copy Fortnite, especially since you have walls and floors and stairs. That they're trying to copy Fortnite. It's it's not Minecraft at all. And I, I really hate how Lifeboat just kind of killed off their roots of sorts. And it, it just really sucks because I, I want to play Lifeboat for that old time survival games experience. And even like their 2015, 2016, 2017 experience. Like I played before where, I mean, Lifeboat survival games still existed even though, I mean, they obviously had some updates to it. But no, they just decided to get rid of it. So, I mean, Lifeboat, what, what are you doing? Uh, it's not not a good move, especially if you're trying to get any sort of people like actually doing PvP on the server. So for this, we have zero pros whatsoever. It, Battle Royale, no, just no. Cons, literally everything, including the weird items that aren't related to PvP at all. The fact that you have vehicles in it. And the weird weapons and just PvP in general, which I really, really can't even call PvP in Minecraft terms, because it's, it's not, it's Fortnite PvP to an extent. Alright, next, we have the Hive. This was the next server that I tested out after I tested out Lifeboat yesterday, uh, when I was testing out Minecraft and stuff again. I think it has really good PvP. It has uh, seemingly a lot of PC players on it, so if you're playing on Windows 10 edition, you're gonna run into a lot of PC people that are good at PvP, or at least can put up a fight unlike someone who's playing on a phone. So realistically, a lot of the hardcore PvPers, even if you're on a phone, might wanna go to Hive just because that's where you're gonna get the best battles and duels. Some of the things that I didn't like about the server were the fact that there are only four maps that exist seemingly in survival games. You've got SG4, which is the only one that I really actually knew of, and then you've got a bunch of other maps that I really didn't now. Another thing that I didn't really like about the server was that there was a loot imbalance, which I mean isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've seen on some like PC survival game servers there's stuff like tier 1, tier 2 chests, which is what happens here on the Hive. But I, for someone who's looking for the old school pocket edition sort of PvP survival game style, having tier 1 and tier 2 chests I, I, I don't think is the move. Just the fact that you can get like diamond swords and stuff like that off the start gives you a huge advantage in terms of PvP because pretty much you're gonna have gold chain and maybe a bit of iron on and diamond swords is gonna shred that in like four or five hits so I don't necessarily think tier two chests are the move especially since you're pretty much guaranteed to get some sort of diamond stuff out of it. So here are the pros and cons for the hive. Alright the next server that we have is Mineplex. Personally, I think this was the closest experience that you can get 
to the old school lifeboat survival game is just sort of like the loot that appears. It's very, very similar to lifeboat's old loot that you could get in the chest and stuff like that. And just the timing and stuff as well. I think it was pretty much like eight minute games. Uh, the chest refill it around like halfway through and then you go to deathmatch once there are four players left. Just the whole timing and stuff like that really reminded me of what Lifeboat was like. Some of the things that I didn't really like about Mindplex though, were that there were a lot of noobs and non-PC, or I'm gonna call non-PC players noobs just because I mean it's gonna be hard for them to PvP against someone who's playing with a keyboard and mouse. There were a lot of those, I mean I pretty much decimated in all of the games that I played, but I mean it still wasn't necessarily a bad thing, I got a lot of kills, so hey we take those. Another thing that I noticed was that there were a lot of like bugs seemingly. There were people that were invisible including this one guy that I literally killed while he was invisible. And then there were also buggy sounds and stuff which caused me to turn around a lot because I thought someone was like sneaking up or running up on me, but it turned out it was not. I, I don't know if again it was like an invis guy or something, I don't know if like they're invis potions, but in the games that I played, I didn't find any. I don't know if people are just like glitchy, or maybe it was my texture pack, my resource pack that was like making me glitch out, but I really wasn't sure, and I think it was just really weird. Overall, I don't think it was a terrible server, though. I, I think it was definitely one for the nostalgia, but I don't know if I'd really play on it if I want a modern survival games experience. So, here are the pros and cons for Mindplex. Alright, the final server that I tested out was Cubecraft. I thought Cubecraft was really, really fun, actually. The loot was, uh, if you've ever played Hypixel Sky Wars, you know that there's Normal and Insane, where you have different items in each. This Survival Games was basically Survival Games on Insane mode. There were a lot of effects, potions, uh, gear was all had like enchants and stuff on it. I thought it was really cool. And another thing about this was that it definitely had the smoothest gameplay uh, out of all of the survival games that I tested. And that was something that I really liked. Some of the cons for this was that there were only 16 players in this, which led to really fast games. Like, people would pretty much end up dying, like, probably five or six people would end up dying off the start. I'd go find another, like, two or three people, and then there would be, like, six people left with still, like, the. I think also the timer counts up on it. So basically, like, someone could hide the whole time and you, you'd have to go look in the whole map to find them. And another thing was that once you start the game, it says teaming is bannable. Well, guess what? I, I ran into multiple teams uh, while I was playing and seemingly nothing was or is done about it at all. Just because people find it okay to team when there's a huge message saying, hey, teaming is not allowed and you can get banned for it. I mean, I don't really care. I was able to kill the teams multiple times, but still, it's just annoying to have to fight against teams when you're playing for a solo survival games experience. Also, again, the PvP wasn't the greatest. Um, there were a lot of seemingly non-PC players that weren't the best at PvP. But I mean, it was it's still, it wasn't as bad as Mindplex, I'll say that. So, here are the pros and cons for Cubecraft. So, I said uh, this video was going to be about the best uh, survival game server, but I like parts of all of the survival game servers that I tested out. So, let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite. I'm not going to say my favorite, because I, again, I like aspects of all of them. The Hive has good PvP. Mindplex has a good classic survival games experience, and Cubecraft just has a good smooth gameplay and fun loot. So I guess that's about going to do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Once again, let me know down in the comments which is your favorite survival games server. And also be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft content. Again, I don't know if I really do much more. I still want to do some Rocket League content and stuff like that, but hey, maybe we can have sort of like a hybrid channel or something like that. I don't know. We'll see where things go. Once again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace out.